My name is Lisa. I'm a former visa officer, and in today's video, I'll be discussing what it means if you are refused under 214B, whether or not that refusal is permanent, and how you might overcome the refusal and still get your visa. Too many people have been there. You've approached the visa window full of hope and good intentions, only to be handed a letter and told you are refused, but are welcome to apply again. What does that even mean? Unfortunately, over a million of visa applicants a year are refused in this fashion under a code of law commonly referred to as 214B. What does 214B and why tell me I can apply again if I've been refused? Okay, let's start with what is 214B? 214B is purposely vague and worded to be very open to interpretation. This gives the consular officer big leeway to apply it to anyone they essentially don't believe. This reason for refusal can be applied to most non-immigrant visa categories, including B1s, B2s, and F visas. What it essentially says is, one, you did not demonstrate that you have a credible purpose of travel, and or two, you did not demonstrate sufficient ties to your home country that would compel you to return after your trip. Let's break that down. Let's start with the first one a credible purpose of travel. This means that the reason you are traveling is allowable under the category of visa you are applying for. For example, if you are planning to enroll in a full-time study program in the US, that is not a credible purpose of travel if you're applying for a B1, B2. However, the opposite is true if you're applying for an F visa or student visa. Another example is if you say you're going for tourism, but the officer just doesn't believe you. My favorite example is of the dad that is leaving his children behind to go to Disneyland. I'm just not buying it. The second requirement is that you have ties to your home country that would compel you to return after your visit. Ties to home country is the most misunderstood requirement and is therefore the most common reason for rejection. Often interpreted by people to mean that you have to be rich, married, and a landowner. Honestly, even that doesn't guarantee that you'll be issued a visa. When an officer looks for ties to your home country, what they are really looking for is whether or not you can overcome the presumption of immigrant intent. Or in other words, the officers train to believe that every applicant would choose to live and work in the U.S. if given the opportunity. And it is your burden to demonstrate that that is not the case for you. And yes, by you, I mean you students out there too. Students also have to overcome the presumption of immigrant intent when they're applying for their student visas. Remember, the officer is not gonna ask you directly, but you still need to demonstrate that the life you have in your home country is one you're going to come back to. Okay, so what if you've already been refused 214B? Is it permanent? Can you overcome 214B? No, luckily it is not permanent. And that is why the officer will sometimes say, you're welcome to reapply again. That doesn't mean anything, by the way. It is not, unfortunately, a special invitation. It's just meant to soften the blow of the refusal a bit. So should you apply again right away? Maybe, but with each refusal, getting a visa becomes harder and harder. Officers will be looking for a change in your circumstances or at the very least some new information that would justify making a different decision. Okay, so you get it now, you understand 214B and you wanna reapply. What do you do now? Well, that's the tough part. Everyone's personal circumstances are different. What mistakes did you make in your first interview? What are the strengths of your profile that qualify you for the visa? What is it about your communication style that is helping or hurting you? One tip that will apply to everybody do not go back to your interview with the same plan you had before and expect a different outcome. You'll almost certainly be refused again and you'll just be making it harder with each subsequent refusal for an officer to ever say yes to you. The second tip that I can give you is give Argo Visa a try. We are a team of former consular officers. Combined, we have conducted over a million visa interviews and are therefore the single best resource currently available to the public on how to overcome 214B in a visa interview. Hope this was helpful. All the best.